let's sketch the graph of y is equal to 3 sine 2x minus 30 plus 4. And in my previous video, I explained uh, how the amplitude and the uh, period of a graph changes. So this, and of course the baseline. So let us talk which are the numbers affecting what. So starting with 4, 4 is this number, or this number affects the baseline. So this determines the baseline. Now this number, which is the coefficient of sine, affects the amplitude. This affects the amp or amplitude, and this number affects the period. Okay, so let us talk about that first. Uh, and this is, of course, will do a fall. This is, of course, called, this is, as affects the phase, or it is, affects the phase shift. I'll talk about that later. So yeah, first let us write what is the amplitude. Okay, so what's the baseline? So baseline is 4, just like that. This number tells me your sine graph starts at 4. Your amplitude, your amp or amplitude is 3. So your maximum is based on your uh, baseline and amplitude. So your maximum is baseline. So let me write the formula. It's baseline plus amplitude. It's always good to write the formula. So which is 4 plus 3, which is equal to 7. Your minimum is, again, related to your baseline and uh, amplitude. So it is baseline minus amplitude. You don't need to remember this formula. A sign, if you can, if you know the sine graph, what happens in the sine graph is you start at the baseline and then you go to the maximum or minimum. So for maximum, you add the amplitude and to go to the minimum, you take away the amplitude, which is four take away three, which is one which is 1. Okay, so the amplitude, sorry, max minimum is 1, and your maximum is 7. Now, as I told you, this tells me, this has a period of, this too tells me that within 360, this, this sine graph uh, covers two cycles. So, if one cycle is of, if you, within 360, this the sine graph covers 360 degree. So using your logic, so the period for one cycle is 360 divided by 2. So this is a good formula to remember. Period is 360, if it's in degrees, of course, 360 divided by the coefficient of the variable. So let me write, this is a formula, good formula to remember. Even if you don't remember the formula, this 2 is telling me that the sine graph repeats itself twice within 360. So for once, it will need uh, 360 divided by 2, which is 180. So I think this is enough to draw the graph. Okay. Now, finally, this what? how will this number affect? Now, this minus 30 tells me your sine graph, it is similar to... Suppose, let me go back to the basic sign, y is equal to, if y is equal to x minus 2 the whole squared. How, what's the, how will you draw the graph? If you want to draw a sketch of that graph, what happened to the basic y is equal to x squared? It has moved 2 to the right. So if you want to draw a sketch, a fast sketch, it is, it is like this, okay? So this minus 2 tells me this is, 2 on the y-axis. So this graph, this is the graph of y is equal to x minus 2. So this minus tell me this, the basic parabola y is equal to x squared has gone 2 to the right. It has gone 2 to the right. So in the same way, this minus 30 means your basic sine graph, which is y is equal to sine of x, has gone 30 to the right. Okay. So yeah, uh, yeah, let us uh, find now, or if you think in a different way, uh, 
if it was y is equal to sine of x, it would have gone 30 to the right. But now it is not sine of x, it is 2 of x, 2x. Sorry. So this, suppose to find where your sine graph starts, so let me write one more thing. This is called the phase shift. This is what I was talking about. The, there is a shift here, and which is called a phase shift. Now, to find the phase shift, you have to set this equal to zero. That's how you decide the starting point. So the phase shift, to decide the phase shift, you are going to set 2x minus 30 is equal to zero. So let us make x the subject. So I can say, well, 2x has to be 30. So x is equal to 15. So your sine graph, in this case, is starting at 15 degrees. We'll confirm this on a calculator. So if you know these, uh, you need to do these workings to understand the sine graph. OK, so there are lots of transformation here. So let me draw. See, this is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. Okay, your minimum is, minimum was how much? Minimum was 1 and maximum is 7. Your baseline is 4. Say this is 1. It's not drawn to scale. This is 1. This is say uh, 7. Sorry, this is 4 and this is 7. Okay, it's not drawn to scale. Don't worry about the scale. So this is your minimum. So I'll write minimum, your baseline, and maximum. So we know the minimum is 1, your baseline is 4, and your maximum is 7. OK. So where are we starting? We're starting at 15. OK. And we've got a period of, uh, period of 180. So here, if you've got a period of 180, what will be the pitch? Okay, or we are at what step are we going to to find the pitch? It is simple. You divide 180, which whatever is your period, divide by 4, which is 90 divided by 2, which is 45. So we'll go at a step or a pitch of 45 degree. Okay, so this is 0 degree. So this is 0. And say this is 15. Again, not drawn to scale. This is 15 degrees. This is where you're going to start the sine graph. And then you're going to go at a step of, if this is 15, rough estimate, so you, you're going at a step of 45. So 15 plus 45 is 60. 60 plus 45 is 105. And 105 plus 45 is uh, 1. 50 and 145, 110, so 150. Okay, I hope I'm not doing a silly mistake. So this is 45, is 60, plus 45 is 105, then 110, 150, that's fine. So your sine graph starts at your baseline. Okay, you're starting at 15. Yeah. So let me go, if you go 45 to the left, if you go from 45 to the left, so you're going 40, 15 here, so 30, so this is negative 30 here. Okay, so yes, the sine graph starts at baseline, so this is, let me use a different color. So you're, you're starting your sine graph at 15, let me use a black color. So you're starting at baseline, then you from here you're going to maximum at, at 60 you reach the maximum, at 105 you come back to the baseline, Okay, so what okay, you've got to go one more step. Sorry, again, so this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is 150 plus 45, which is 195. So this is one period. Okay, so you're almost there. So this is then you're uh, you're coming back to or you're hitting the minimum and then you're coming back to your so let us to find the y intercept. So if you, from here, if you're going up, from here you have to go down. So from baseline, obviously you have to hit down at minus 30, you hit the minimum. So this is one cycle, so this is one and a quarter cycle. So let us draw the graph. So the sine graph looks like this. And this is maximum, 
baseline minimum and so this is one quarter cycle okay so let us confirm this on the calculator so let me read the equation it was y is equal to 3 sine 2x minus 30 plus 4 okay so let me bring the graph hopefully i'll remember that so menu graph now before graphing i looked look up the setup whether it's in degrees or radians so this is in dig radians i have to change that into degrees okay so here it was two uh was it i keep forgetting the equation three sine two x okay so it is three sine bracket two x minus 30 plus four yeah plus four was the baseline so i want to go from so to look up a setting i want a trig scale from say minus i'll go say minus 30 Okay, let me go from mine. I want to go from mine. This is minus 30. So let me scroll up a little. This is, this is, I want to go say from minus 60. I want to go at a, so what will be the next point? The next point will be minus 75. So I'll go from minus 75 to 195 at the step of. 45 degrees okay i want a maximum don't change the dot i want the minimum of so zero would do and then this is seven so i'll go up to 10 okay scale of one would do and then see what the graph looks like here we go so this is your uh, one and a half cycle so this is this is one cycle and this is half a cycle so let us confirm at 30 negative 30 you get the minimum so g solve minimum at negative 30 you get the minimum of one and the next minimum would be at 150 there we go and g sol maximum we're getting maximum at 60 and of course to find the y intercept is of course you can use the calculator you can do without the calculator it, it will come between one and four seems to be around three i don't know so g sol and y intercept which is 2.5 Okay, it does make sense. So your y-intercept is 2.5. Without the calculator, the y-intercept is, this is 2.5. So to find the y-intercept without the calculator, what you have to do is, you have to set x is equal to 0. Okay, if you set x is equal to 0, you will, okay, so let us do without the calculator. If you do, if you want to find the y-intercept, you have to set x is equal to 0. So uh, this is, so it is two uh what was it it was three okay it is three sine uh, uh two x will become zero that is minus 30 plus four sine minus 30 is 2.5 this is how you can do without the calculator